Climatrix. Today we're going to have a look at the Gauteng Prelim for 2020. Please have a go at the exam before you actually watch these videos. If you need access to the paper and the data, you can find that in the description below. Question 6. Web Design A web page was created about the future of the Olympic Games. Open the incomplete 6 Future web page in a web browser and also in a text editor. So that'll be like Notepad++. Note question numbers appear as comments in the coding to indicate where you should insert the answer. Do not delete these comments. You're not allowed to delete these comments. And it's actually extremely important that you do the answer where they indicated it. I'll show you late, later why it's so important. An HTML tag sheet has been attached for reference. Do not answer this question in a word processor. I don't know why you would do that. Your final web page should look like the example below. All right, let's have a look. Here is our HTML um, file that they've given us. And I'm going to open it in a browser as well. Just do these half half. OK. And I prefer changing my Notepad++ to actually have word wrap enabled so that this is all wrapped so that it doesn't just continue on into infinity. All right, that's up to you. So this is the comments they refer to, and it's extremely important that you actually do this in the right place. Now you'll see my web page actually doesn't seem to display anything. That's because of the first question. So this is a tricky one. If you didn't get the first question right, you're actually quite screwed. 6.1. Insert the necessary tags to ensure that the web page displays. So the first thing we need to do here by 6.1, we need to insert something so that the web page displays. So I like to click on the tags and then I can see whether they are complete or not. You'll see they actually turn purple if they're complete. This one is complete. This one is incomplete. So the title tag has just not been closed. So we just need to close the title tag and then it will display. This one is extremely important. If you close the title tag wrong and you put the um, forward slash on the wrong side or you didn't close it, as you can see, the whole page doesn't display. So this is an incredibly important tag to know to do correctly. 6.2. Ensure that the heading, the future Olympic Games, appears in an aerial black font. Right, so this is the one they're talking about, and they've said it's at 6.2. So they've already said Arial Black over here, but for some reason it's not working. So this was actually the easiest question because here's actually the clue. It actually shows you right here how to do it. So it shouldn't be font type, it should be font face. The attribute is called face. And if I change that, save, it actually changes the font over here. 6.3. Insert a subheading, the host cities, as a level 3 heading below the heading, the future Olympic Games. Now, a lot of my learners got this wrong, and I'll show you why. If you look over here, it shows you the host cities should be centered aligned, and it's actually in a very specific font. Now, if you don't do this in the right place, it actually doesn't work. So a lot of them just wrote it right here. And the font is changed to a different font over here. And here are the tags to make the text center aligned. So you have to do it where they actually indicated with a 6.3 comment. And if you didn't do it that way, I actually subtracted it a mark because it had other implications. It didn't change the font and it didn't center align the text. So this is where you had to type in the, the words, the host city. Okay. And it has to be a level three heading. So this is a level one heading. So to make it a level three heading, we put in H3 tags. Tag open and close the tag. See, open and close purple. Save refresh. There you go. Now it looks the way it should. If I put this here, oh, come on, you can actually move, click and drag it with this. 
There you go. Let's see the difference. Do you see the difference? And that's why I subtracted a mark, because it doesn't look the same. Now, for the difficult question, the one that's actually quite a lot to put your head around, but it's not that bad if you just break it up into little pieces. 6.4. Change the table to appear as shown below. Note, ensure that the first row is displayed on a black background with white text. The information for the third row is found in the 6 Paris Info txt file in your in examination folder. So if we look at our page currently, you'll see, I don't even see the heading, but it's a black background at least, and I've got the Tokyo row, and I've got the LA ro row, but I don't have the Paris row, so that's the one I actually need to insert. Okay, let's start. So first up, let's do the first row, that one that says Olympic Games. It, the first row needs to be displayed on a black background with white text. So 6.4, row 1. That's why they indicate row 1 for us. So there's my row, and there's my cell, TD. There's no reason to change TD to TH. Okay, it's already at center aligned. Now here's an important part. A lot of my learners added an additional font tag. That's not necessary. There's already a font tag with the correct face, the correct font type, and the correct size. All we needed to add was the color to make it white. Okay. If you actually added an additional font tag, you do not get that mark. The instruction in an HTML tag or an, an HTML question is always to change what has been given. So if a font tag is already given, there's no reason to add in an additional font tag. You will not receive that mark. So please, please, please take note of that. So that's the first thing. The second thing is this Olympic Games needs to be over Tokyo, this center text, and over this third column. So it actually needs to go over three columns, right? So that is a col span tag. So let's quickly have a look at where we can find that. I'm going to use the Afrikaans paper now. Afrikaans kids, I'm sorry. <laughs> let's just quickly have a look. So you'll see here the table tags are in the, at the bottom over here. And there's the TD col span. Now I don't want to span it over two columns. I want to span it over three columns. Okay, so let's go back. And in the TD tag, I also can't add a new table data tag. I have to use the one that's there. I change the col span or add a col span and change it to three. Save, refresh, and there I have my first row complete. That was the first four marks. Now I need to edit the third row. You'll see row two is complete, row three is empty. Now, some people actually typed in everything themselves, and that was a lot of work. Hats off to you, that's really a waste of time. If you need to recreate something so that it looks the same as the rest, just copy and paste, really, and then we can just replace what is necessary. We need to change, we need to insert a whole nother row, right? So let's just use the whole of row four, see from the row start to row end, copy this, and paste it here in row three. And now we're going to change everything. We're going to change the picture. We're going to change the text. We're going to change the bulleted list. But pretty much everything's been done for us. Okay. All right. Let's see. So there's one row with one, two, three cells. Okay. Let's see what we've got at the moment. See, I've just got a repeat, a repetition of the fourth row. So now I just need to change the information in there. That's all you need to do. Okay, so first off, I need to change the picture because they showed me the picture. The picture needs to look like that. That's the Paris picture, it seems like. So let's go and look at our folder. So here's my folder. 
Aha, there is the Paris file. Okay, now here's a tip. When you're doing HTML, you can actually change the view to show the file name extensions for you so that you can copy the whole thing at once. Then you can copy the name and the file extension because if you don't include the file extension, it's not going to work. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure you're working in the right row, row three. I'm going to change this to the right file name and the, I'm sure the picture must stay exactly the same size. So there we go. Let's see if that looks right now. Save, refresh. Ha ha, right picture. Now they said we can find the information in the Paris info TXT file. There we've got it. It wouldn't have shown TXT if I actually didn't have the file extensions enabled. Hey, so let's open that up and see what that says. Okay. So let's, okay. It seems like let's look at the example again. It looks like this text is the one for the second cell you see over here. So this one, is the one we need to do now. So I've done the first cell, now I'm just doing the second cell. So this is the text I need for the second cell. Copy that. And this is the second cell. There's the first cell, TD, table data. There's my second cell. So I'm going to paste that there. I mustn't forget to make the year bold, you see. And I'm going to paste that in there. I'm a perfectionist, so I'm just going to tab that in again. And then I'll put in a bold tag and I think we're halfway there. Come save first, that'll help. Okay, we're getting there. Now we just need to do the last one with our three bullets. So my three bullets need to change to this text. Learn to say bonjour and au revoir. So copy and paste over here. Now see the thing is if you didn't if you did this by hand one by one you would probably have forgotten to make these bullets square. Do you see the bullets are actually square? So that's why copying and pasting is just awesome if they actually do it like this and they give you an example to go by. So save and refresh. There you go. Okay. So then my third cell is correct as well. So let's just have a look at the third cell. I've got one cell. What do I have? I have an unordered list of a square type. And then I have one, two, three list items. Okay. So that's where we're at now. Let's go and have a look at our paper again. 6.5. Ensure that the hyperlink at the bottom of the web page moves to the seven announced web page in your exam folder. So let's have a look at our exam folder. There is seven announce. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to show my file name extension because if I actually insert a link to this without the file name extension, it's not going to work. So I'm just going to copy that whole file name with the extension. And then I will go and insert it into my code. Let's see what we've got here. And let's just take note of the word wording. They said, ensure that the hyperlink at the bottom of the web page. So there is already a hyperlink. I can't go and create a new one. Okay. Just take note of that. So here I am 6.5. There is the hyperlink. I can't create a new one. If you create a new one, you're not going to get all your marks. You're going to lose your first mark. Okay. This hyperlink, this anchor needs to move to the file I just copied. So my hyperlink reference href is in double quotation marks, seven announce dot HTML. Save, refresh. And now if I click here, it actually opens that file back. There you go. Hope that helped.